Basically, what you want to do with the square root is you want to find two numbers that multiply together to get 49, but they have to be the same number. So 49 will be 7 times 7, right? So that's the square root of 7, because 7 times itself equals 49. So when finding a square root, you want to find what number times itself equals that number. So for example, what is the square root of 16? What two number, what number multiplies by itself to get to 16? Uh, four. Exactly. So four would be the square root of 16. You see? Now let's try something a little bit harder. Okay. Sixty four. One number times itself gets you sixty four. Ah. Uh, you got this. Uh, eight. Eight. Exactly. Good job. Good job. All right, then we're gonna try this one. How about this? Should be easy. So the square root of four? Square root of four plus the square root of 100. So what oh, you're gonna okay. do is you're just gonna find the square root of each number then add them together. So. I think okay. you could do that. Uh, 12. And how did you get that? Uh, so first square root of four is uh, two, and then the square root of 100 is 10. So I added them together. Exactly. Good job. Now we're going to try this. Do you know what that means? Do you know what that means? With the three, Robin? Uh, uh, no. Okay, so the three means it's cube root. So you're gonna find what number times itself three times gets into 27. Oh, nine? So what? No, because nine, yeah, it's close to nine. It's three, right? Because three times three times three equals 27. You see what I'm, you see how I get the cube root? Oh yeah, I did nine times three. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you got the general idea, but you have to make sure it's it's the same number. So if I did, um, but with the cube root of 64, what number times itself gets you that? What number times itself three times gets you that? uh four exactly because four times four equals 16 and then 16 times four equals 64. now we're gonna i'm gonna give you a hard one so that's the cube root of 1331. here's the trick with this okay so if it's a one it's most likely going to end in a one or a nine, right? If it's a um, if it's anything that ends with an eight, it's a two with cube roots. If it's a six, it's usually a four. If it's seven, it's usually a three. So this is either going to be a one or a nine. Which one do you think it is? A nine. Ah, uh, no, that one's tough. I think it's a one, right? Because 11 times 11 times 11 equals 1,331. Nine times nine times nine is, I haven't, that's 729. Yeah. Yeah, I think that was a hard one. 